today on Karamo. So 33 days without sex? I'm not getting any. Does her man have an addiction to porn? His porn is mature white women. Okay. That kind of make me feel some type of way. She wants to save her relationship. He watches too much porn. That's it. That's why he's too tired to have sex. Said that he doesn't like black women in his porn. He likes older white women. Mature. Oh, mature white women. No. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. She's pretty though. <laughs> She's pretty. Hold on, her husband right here. Oh. You got the competition. You got the competition. Plus. I'm like, what? It's like, no girl, I didn't know this. Are these two women sisters or not? All right, welcome to the show, friends. My guest Camry says that it has been 33 days and counting since her and her boyfriend Kawan have had sex. She believes that Kawan has an addiction to porn, which is taking all of his energy and attention away from her. Camry says she is tired of playing second to his sexual fantasies, and it's time for him to put out or get out. Everyone, welcome Camry to the show. Hi, Camry. Have a hug. Nice How are you doing? You. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Take a seat. Yes. Sir. So pretty. Thank you. You're very welcome. So 33 days without sex? Yes, sir. What's going on? Um, we've been together. I'm gonna start out. We've been together for five years. Mm -hmm. We've been living together for five years. Um, at first he was watching porn, but now it's becoming very obsessive. Yeah. To the point that I'm not getting any. Was sex a big part of your relationship at the beginning? I think sex is a big part for anybody. I mean, that mm -hmm. that makes of intimacy and sex. That that's what makes the relationship keep it keep it going. So prior to 33 days ago, how often were y'all having sex? Um, we'll get it in, you know, four or five times a week. We was like jet rabbits. Get it, girl. <laughs> like, I'm like an energized buddy. You feel me, girl? Up. I get it going, baby. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Keep it going. So how was the sex in the beginning? Was it great? Oh, yes. It's Perfect. great. That's why I want it now, you know? <laughs> it's very great. So when did you first notice that your sex life was changing? Um, last year, beginning of last year. Beginning of the last yes, year. Yes, sir. And what was what was changing? How did the intimacy change? Um, I just started checking his, like, browser on Google, uh -huh. and I seen that he was watching porn, and every time I asked him to have sex, he'd say he's too tired. Oh. And I don't have a problem with porn, he just watches too much excessive that I can't get it. Got and it. number two, I'm black, I'm a young black woman. Uh -huh. His porn is, you know, mature white woman. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. So. Okay. That kind of made me feel some type of way a little bit too, mm. you know, like. Yeah, of course, like what, what mm, is it? Are yes. you attracted to that, or okay. do you want to be with me? So was he watching porn at the beginning of your relationship? Um, it wasn't that bad. Probably once a month. But just out the blue, it's starting like every day. So you feel every like day. it's turning into an addiction? Yes, sir. Okay. Very much so. And why do you feel the addiction? He, he takes his phone in the shower. Takes his phone in the shower. It with him in the shower, and you hit the porn playing. Have you talked to him about his porn addiction? Yes. And what does he say? Um, he doesn't think it's a problem. He said most men watch porn, but I don't think most men watch porn as much like that. Mm. We can make a porn together. Oh. We can make our own porn. We want to do it like that. Mm. So how often do you expect to have sex? Five times a week, at least six. Five times a week We're not 60. Six. We young. Let's get in before I get old. My jaws get tired. And my, my, <laughs> my back start aching and all that. You know what I mean? Let's do it now. How old are you? 26. 26, mm -hmm. OK. How old is um, 29. Kowan, 29? Okay, so y'all are young. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think he's having sex with someone else? Oh, um, no, I just think he's having sex just through porn. The porn? Yes, sir. Okay. Is this the only problem in your relationship? We argue. Okay. And I think our argues like, may put more strain on the relationship when it comes down to having sex. Like, I feel like when we both like, or going back, like I feel like he's not listening to me or he's not being understanding to my needs, I'm completely shut down. I think that goes for any woman. I mean, the communication sometimes goes back and forth, so I'm interested to hear his side later, but like, did you have the communication breakdown in the beginning? Were y'all arguing in the beginning about that? Yes, sir. We like Christian and Blueface. We toxic. Oh, that's real toxic. Yeah. That's toxic, toxic. Yeah, but I love them. Oh, mm -hmm. but you I love, love it. Mm -hmm. Wow. You said, you said I, I love it. I love it. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not own it, I love it, though. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you say there's house rules that he throws in your face. What are those? He really don't throw house rules in my face. It's just he makes little comments. Like, we get mad at each other, like we might be arguing. Yeah. And I might go on and turn the heat on, you know what I mean? He'll say, don't turn the heat all the way up. So, it's too hot, and I might say it's too cold. And he mean, like, it, it, that may bring on another argument. Don't touch the thermostat. He counts potato chips? No, he doesn't count potato, like, the, not the, the individual bags, not the chips oh, in okay, the bags. Oh, okay, I was about to say, yeah. okay. <laughs> and, and That's a lot of counting right there. And okay, and guests have an open invite. Uh-huh. Okay. What do you hope will happen today? 
then maybe you can like get through. Uh, I'm I'm not even gonna put all the blame on him. Maybe you can just let me know what I'm doing wrong, let him know what he's doing wrong, and try to help us get through it. And if mm -hmm. we can't, we just gotta leave separate. Cause, Cause you want your husband. Yes. You want your husband. Yes. You love him. I, love I know him we. Dearly. I know you joked about the toxicity, mm -hmm. and I I hear those communication arguments. But yes, sir. at the end of the day, are you happy? Yes. You are happy. Yes. Good. That's, That's why I want to stay this long. You know about the sex, cause most people would just move on to cheat. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of a lot of, a lot of men not gonna deal with what I put him through. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm not gonna say I'm perfect. I'm not. Mm -hmm. So I'm blessed for what I got. I just wanted to get together so we can be this A team. Let's hear his side of the story. So everyone welcome Kawan to the show. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? So 33 days to go without sex with your wife is a long time. What's going through your head? She kind of a turn off, man. She's a turn off. She kind of a turn off. Attitudes, uh, I don't know if she told you, but I work full time, mm -hmm. I cook, I clean. Who wanna come home from a long day of work and be like, babe, can I get some? She said you argued and she said you argued, but you're saying the attitude, her attitude and the argument is worse. So what do y'all argue about? Whatever she don't get her way. Like I said, she don't work or nothing, so I'm providing everything. Like, mm -hmm. But he was cool with me not working. Don't that was our agreement. Don't expect me to buy your cigarettes every time. If you got your habits, take care of your habits. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You gotta, like, you gotta put your foot out there, you know what I'm saying, to make me want you. But Karamo, he the one told me it was, it was cool for me. He said, I'm a man, baby. That's what he said. Baby, I'm a man, I got this. I got this. That's when it was care. good, though. Like, mm -hmm. this the whole thing, but you right? Can't bet, Trey. You can't but this, that, this the whole thing, right? If you a team and you got your dude back, when you up, you up, you know what I'm saying? Cool, it is what it is. But you as a woman, you supposed to know all right, it's time for me to step in. It's time to click in. Bay going through something. Mm -hmm. Let me step it up Got and it. help him out. It's just right. that simple. Do you feel like you've communicated that to her, that I need some more support? Communicated? Man, yeah. That's what we argue about. That's all we talk about. So he's saying that he's telling you that he needs some more support, and that's directly correlated to why he doesn't want to have sex. Are you receiving that? When he says, I need more support? I'm not turned on by laziness. He watched too much porn. They said that's why he's too tired to have sex. She wants to save her relationship. Said that he doesn't like black women in his porn. He likes older white women. Mature. Older, mature white women. Okay, I'm sorry. She's pretty, though. She's pretty. Look at her husband right here. Oh. You got the competition. You got the competition. At first, he was watching porn, but now it's becoming very excessive. Yeah. To the point that I'm not getting any. How often were y'all having sex? Um, we'll get it in, you know, four, five times a week. We was like Jack Rabbits. Get it, girl. <laughs> and I don't have a problem with porn. He just watches too much excessive that I can't get it. Got and it. number two, I'm black. I'm a young black woman. Uh -huh. His porn is, you know, mature white woman. Whatever, she don't get her way. Like I said, she don't work or nothing, so I'm providing everything. Like saying that he's telling you that he needs some more support and that's directly correlated to why he doesn't want to have sex. Are you receiving that? I'm not turned on by laziness. I receive it, but he still, that's not, I feel like that's not the reason. It's just, he watched too much porn. That's it, that's why he's too tired to have sex. Mm -hmm. Tired is an excuse though, like, okay, that's what so I'm saying, lie. like, is I'd rather say I'm watching porn you than hurt your feelings so and be like, So why does she think you have a porn addiction? Huh? Why does she think you have a porn addiction? See, probably, I do watch porn, you know what I'm saying? Who don't watch porn? Like, he like this lady, like, mature lady, very pretty, like this type of lady, the lady back there. She's very looking nice. So you said that he, he has a... <laughs> so you said that he doesn't like black women in his porn. He likes older white women. Mature. Oh, mature white women. We okay. Mature. mature white women. And you said which one? I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's trying to point. I got to cut me out. I got to cut me out. I'm sorry. I got to cut me out. You, you point out. I'm sorry. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm sorry. She's pretty, though. I definitely, uh, I'm sorry, that made me fall out, I'm sorry. <laughs> she said, like you, like you, hi. Let me talk to you. So apparently, you're his type. Um, How do you feel? I'm so pleased. Oh, okay, so pleased. <laughs> okay, who else did you say? You said this woman up here? The lady right next to the this gentleman. This my friend with the blue. right here. Yes, right here. <laughs> this my friend, come on down here for me. Come on down, hold on, come on down. <laughs> this is my, this is this is a, this is a friend of the show. She comes, she takes her notes. I love her so much. So you're his type. How do you feel? 
Hey, gonna be somebody's, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they say you get good to have <laughs> I am 66. You're 66, yeah. You look good for 66. Thank you. So this what you watching? I'm not mad at you. I'm it's not right. mad. It's right. spoil me. So, you know what I'm saying? I probably went out to work a little bit. Hold on, my husband right here. Oh. You got some competition. You got some competition. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That took me out when you started pointing. I'm sorry. That took me out. <laughs> That took me out. Okay, so in all sincerity, do you think you have a porn addiction? Nah, I don't. No, nah. you don't think so? Nah. I think it's normal to watch porn. She How often porn. are you watching porn, though? Are you watching porn one time a day, two times a day, three times a day? I don't it, watch porn every day. It depends on my mood, honestly, like, because honestly, I don't want to, I don't like to have sex every day because I work, like I said, so sometimes I do be tired. Mm -hmm. But the times that I do want to do it, I'm not trying to roll over and ask for permission to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like that should be coming on already. Like, shoot, we ain't did it in such and such, so let me go ahead and give him some. Mm -hmm. If I got an ex, then I really just go handle my business myself. Well, I mean, just because you're married, there still needs to be consent. So why is it during that time that you feel like you don't want to have sex? Th that's how I feel, Karamo, and I understand. Maybe we were just raised different. I just always thought, thought you, you asked. And he, sometimes when I ask him, I can say, babe, you want to have sex? He say, why you ask? I mean, I just don't want to go and just jump who, right into it and then you reject me. to have me. sex? You know what I'm saying? Well, it, it, like, it, it, you, it, I don't want to be rejected. No, like, look, okay, you might ask. First of all, I don't even know nobody well, in, who in, asks in, to in, have in, sex. In, in, in any relationship, I know, even if you're five years, one year, ten don't years. Don't nobody say, hey, babe, the, the, can I do it? Can uh, we the do practice, it? The practice is, is do y'all feel like, I want to know from you all, do you feel, because from my point of view, no matter if you're together for one year, five years, ten years, it's always should be consent. Hey, you, you in the mood? You want to do something? Do y'all agree? Even the men, man. yeah. Come here, talk to me real quick. My boy right here. Okay, so we got we got a man right here who says he feels that there should always be consent. What are your thoughts? Yeah, uh, I think I think you should ask because you don't know her mood, so you don't want to get rejected. You know what I'm saying? Thank rejected you. by my yeah, girl. Yeah, because if you if you try to just move you know, on her, she might be like, get off of me. Because you know the reject, you're making a good point. Because the rejection then leads to insecurities. Yeah, yeah, it leads to in it leads to arguments. And it that's leads what to I things. told him before Karamo. I said when he's like, why you don't do? I said, babe, I, I don't want to be rejected. I don't know if you will be wanting to be turned on, and that's gonna make me feel some type of way, make me be pissed off. Yeah. And he like, no, why would I do that? But it's a different mindset. Does anyone feel like her expectations, Cameron's expectations of sex five to six times a week is a lot? That is a lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come here, sis. Oh, you said yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I need to know. So she says five, six times a week. You think it's too much? Girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> five, six times. Baby, well, when it's so good, you're not working. You just you got to work and cook and all that. And like, that's a lot. Do, do you that's... think it's because, this is a pretty good point, do you think it's because of the fact that you're you're not working right now? I know that's a decision you both made. Yeah, but since you're not working, you don't have certain. Yeah, yeah, so you, you have a lot more energy. Mm -hmm. Can you understand that for him, outside of the arguments, but can you understand for him, like, I'm working all day, I'm trying to provide, that maybe I'm too exhausted to perform right now. Can you understand that? She said no. <laughs> okay. I mean, I can't. <laughs> she looking at me like, no. I can, but I'm just, like, saying, like, you, bitch, we, bitch, you my man, Outside though. of sex, what about a back rub? Mm. I just want our relationship to be equal. Is their relationship too damaged to repair? Please don't be fooled by the crime. You'd be like, babe, can you buy me some cigarettes? I ain't got it right now. Well, oh my God. <laughs> well, well, come on, bro. He days. dismissed me. Don't no one want to be dismissed by that man. Is I'd rather say I'm watching porn right. than hurt your feelings and so be like, you think you have a I don't want to touch you. Huh? Why does she think you have a porn addiction? See, probably, I do watch porn, you know. Does anyone feel like her expectations, Cameron's expectations of sex five to six times a week is a lot? Girl! <laughs> what? <laughs> five, six times? That's a lot. But can you understand for him, like, I'm working all day, I'm trying to provide, that maybe I'm too exhausted to perform right now. Can you understand that? She said no. <laughs> okay. So, I move furniture, so I might come in the house tired, you know what I'm saying? Back hurting, legs well, hurting. Well, ask him last time, he got and me a bed like massage. This. She don't work. She don't and do also, I don't work. I don't get no back she's massage. Not, she's sitting in a bed I don't all work. day. I don't get no back massage. The bed yeah. massaging your back, dude, okay. when you sitting there the whole day. Mm. If I got to come in off work and be rubbing my leg like, woo, I had a hard day. <laughs> and she got that sitting right there. What are you feeling? Like, you're having some emotions right now. What's going on? Talk to me. I just want our relationship to be equal and fair. OK. I don't want to make some changes, but I want him to be understanding to my needs also. 
And that's what's making you cry right yep. now? I just wanted to be more understanding. I wanted to be able to get both on the same page. Mm -hmm. So have you ever had an honest conversation about the expectations? I don't think I have. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really don't. Honestly, I really Please can't. Please don't be fooled by the crime. Mm -hmm. Don't be mm -hmm. fooled by it, man. Mm -hmm. It's I like mean, I mean, her emotions are valid. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. See, this is your first time dealing no, with her. No, but he just like, dismissed me a lot, though. You I know deal what I'm with her every he day. He dismissed me. Don't no woman want to be dismissed by that man. She cried yeah. every 10 you minutes. You know what I'm saying? You put me down. She cried every 10 minutes. OK. You know what I'm saying? you know I'm emotional. I'm sensitive. You be like, babe, can you buy me some cigarettes? I ain't got it right now. Well, oh, my God. Yeah, man. Well, well, Come on, bro. Stop well, the in crying. interesting part is I know it's fun, but you know, and I know that in the moment, especially when it, the, you're when you're in a relationship and it's repetition, you start to get desensitized to it. So you start to say to yourself, well, don't get fooled by this. That ain't that. That ain't this. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I'm a third party, and I'm listening to the language you all are using. And so I'm hearing both of you say constantly, I feel dismissed. I feel dismissed. He's not hearing me. I'm not hearing him. I want things to be equal. Earlier you said, I want things to be equal. I need support. There's a bigger problem here of how you're communicating about what is the expectations of this relationship. Have y'all realized that? Yeah. You know it, and you know it. Yes, so if you both know it, why are you not having that conversation? I guess I'm going to say I'm willing to do my part, but she, she's not willing to step up and do her part. She's I'm not, willing to do my part. She's not okay, willing so, to... Uh, so that, so let's, let's, let's be real with this. Because the thing is, is that I can already... I understand completely why you're not having sex. See, the libido is connected to our emotions. Mm -hmm. And so if there's negative emotions around it, of course, it's going to stall the sex. But that's because there's not a real conversation here about what's really going on. You all are expecting the other person to give you more support and more understanding, and you're both feeling dismissed. You're both feeling dismissed. Mm -hmm. And so the thing is, there has to be clear boundaries and clear expectations written out of what you want. I want to start with one today. What is one thing you need in this relationship to make you feel like you're not being dismissed and making you feel like you're being supported? Well, I would need you, Cameron. Just be there. Ask me how my day going. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if I come in the house and I'm tired or whatever, support that. Don't let me come in the house tired and I got to still cook and do all this extra stuff. Then after I cook, I got to wash the dishes. Like, come on, bro. So watch the, it, this or something. So, so those, those are two different things. Because you first said, I want you to ask me how That's I'm doing. Insane. Well, no, it's okay. Because the thing is, this is why you work this out. You first said you want concern. Because mm -hmm. you want her to be em empathetic to what you're experiencing. But then you said, I need you to actually do certain tasks. One is emotion. One is physical based. So which one is the first one that you need when you walk in the house? I really don't care about the emotion. I just need you to do more. The reason that sex goes is because there's bigger issues. Is their relationship too damaged to repair? So she needs you to just believe her. Ask her how many times she lied to me. Find out next. Plus. I'm like, what? It's like, no girl, I didn't know this. Are these two women sisters or not? Stay tuned. You are the fuck. You're off my stage. What are you feeling? Like, you have some emotions right now. What's going on? I just want our relationship to be equal. I want to make some changes, but I want him to be understanding to my needs also. I guess I'm going to say I'm willing to do my part, but she she's not willing to step up and do her part. So I just need you to do more. That's good to know. See, the reason I broke it down like that and separated them for you is because when you're in a relationship, you can have conversations and you start to bring in more than one things and then it get, gets confused. Mm -hmm. Because one is talking about emotion, one's talking about a physical action. Mm -hmm. And so it's good for you. You just clarified. You were like, hey, you know what? It's not even about the emotion. Which means he's getting enough more emotional support in some ways, but he cares more about the actual physical actions. Mm -hmm. He needs physical actions to show him that he's being supported. So what are the physical actions you need her to do? Just, well, I just need her to clean is. more. You want more help with cleaning. More help with cleaning, more help with food. And Cook. when you say food, cooking it or buying it? Uh, cooking it. Just share the role that I do. Can you support him in doing those things? Yes, I can. Great. I get what you're saying. I definitely get it. But we've been together like four years, I, I man. Understand. It's but, like... But y'all but, but both... Hold on, let me tell you this. Y'all both Five. set this pattern into motion. 
Y'all yeah, both I said it in. I so it. I understand your hesitation about like, well, I don't believe she's gonna do it. But both like you both of y'all already. You because y'all already did it. So if you want to actually grow and be better, you have to believe. And and the, what's gonna change now is not only the belief, I'm giving you action steps. Yeah. I so she's it. saying she commits to doing it, and now I'm telling you, you call her an hour before and say, Hey, I'm on my way home. I just want to have your support in making sure the house is clean so that way we can just be together. Can you commit now to calling her ahead of time and saying, hey, I need you to do these things? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. There we go. First step. Now, what do you need? Good job. Emotional what do you need? Emotional support. What, emo so you need emotional support. Mm -hmm. So what do you need him to say? To be more understanding to my feelings and stop dismissing them just like you just did. Now, like, don't believe the hype with the crime. I get it. I get it. Like, so, so, but that needs to be more specific. What is it exactly you need him to say? When he get home, babe, how, how was your day? Even though you don't work, how was your day? Just because I don't work don't mean I'm... So you, so you feel like you me. do that? Listen, I, I tell her I love her. I tell her she's pretty. I ask her what's wrong when she going through it. I ask her, is there anything I could do? I do stuff like that. I get that, but that's not all the things you just said. I admire you as a man and uh, as a, someone who's in a relationship that you're doing that, but that's not what she said she needed. She said she just needed you to come home and ask her how her day is. She understands that she wants you, but she needs you to ask her how she's doing. So tell him, all I need is for you to ask me how I'm doing. That's all I need you to ask me is how I'm doing. Yeah, the mood changes all the time. So like, even I come here and be like, babe, how, you, how was your day today? It was good. Two minutes later, she going off or mad about true? something. So it's like, true? sometimes. Okay, I'm not okay. well, so then good. So I'm glad you said that because that means that you can't change the finish line. If the finish line is, hey, this is what I need to ask, and you change it two minutes later, he's not in the wrong. You're in the wrong. Mm -hmm. And then you're damaging your relationship. I don't think that's it. Like, I think it's something else or whatever that, what do you think it is? that I need to, I don't know, me personally, because so I it? feel like I do a lot, but me asking her how her day was. I'm, just, I'm only that, going off what she said. Yeah, I, 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 I just met y'all 30 minutes ago, so that all I can't can do be, is yeah, I, just, I really want that's, her to tell you. That's what I meant. So that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, that's why I say every time I say something, he's questioning it. I can say this is what I mean. So, I don't feel like it's this. Then that made me so shut down. I want to say, stop okay, so that's telling me thing. what I'm not trying to say. So she needs you to just believe her. Believe her. Why don't you believe your wife when she says things to you? Ask her how many times she lied to me. Mm. Has there been distrust in this relationship? Mm -hmm. Got it. So that is something that you have to rebuild. The mm -hmm. trust. The trust. Yes. Because at the end of the day, this is, this is fun for us to talk about the lack of sex and those things. But in a relationship, the reason that sex goes is because there's bigger issues. And so we're hearing it right now. It's a lack of support. It's a lack of dismissing. And there's also trust issues. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this, now that I'm hearing this, I'm going to just be honest. I'm hearing it's coming from you. Okay. So there's some work you got to do. You said earlier you like being toxic, but that toxicity is going to end your relationship. And I'm not saying he's perfect, and I'm not saying you'd, mm -hmm. you're the bad guy. I, please, I don't want you to leave here thinking that. But he's saying that there was lies in the beginning. That's why he's questioning you. Can you understand that, though? Yes. And can you understand how that is playing into the sex? I can now. You can now. And it hurts you. Mm-hmm. Yeah? You ready to do the work? So you know I'm not going nowhere, though. I understand the emotion and stuff, but it's like, I'm not going nowhere. So, like, instead of crying about it, let's just get over it and, like, work through whatever we need to well, work this, through. But this is a big step right here. Because before this, from my, from my standpoint, y'all had never had this honest communication about exactly what you needed. Mm -hmm. And now it's on the table. Okay. And you can be assured that your man is telling you right now, I'm not going anywhere. He loves you. I love and him you too. Love him too. <laughs> but it's time for y'all to do the work. Tell your partner you're ready to do the work. I'm ready to do the work. Yeah, I'm ready to do the work too. All right, good. That's the first step. That's all y'all can take here. And I'm with y'all doing the work, the sex will come back organically. All right? All right. Good luck to both of y'all. <laughs> Next. I'm like, what? It's like, hey, you know this? And it's like, no, girl, I didn't know this. A DNA test will be unlocked. Here you go. Are these two women sisters or not? Stay tuned. Today we are solving a 45-year-old DNA mystery. My guest Kamara says that after growing up, believing she was her father's only daughter, an uncle shared with her that she actually has a sister named Roche. Kamara has been unsuccessful in getting answers from her father, so she's here today to finally learn the truth. Everyone, welcome Kamara to the show. <laughs> 
Hi. <laughs> Aren't you beautiful? Can oh, you have a hug? Yes, please. <laughs> oh my God, good oh, to meet my you. Goodness. Yes. Oh, Take a seat. You're so pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. You're so handsome. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, everybody okay. know words of affirmation all I need, girl. Oh, That's okay. all I need. That's okay. Right. <laughs> you know, I just have to say before we start, sure. you have been such an inspiration to me. Aww. You have just, the way you uplift and encourage people, you have just really inspired me to do that in my Aww, community. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. Okay. More than you know. I have to ask you, when did you first find out that you may have a sister that you didn't even know about? Um, it was early 2008. Okay. Yeah. And what was that like for you? It was shocking mm -hmm. and exciting. I mean, um, growing up, I you know, always wanted more siblings. And one day my, I was visiting my uncle and he, he's like, you know, you have a sister, right? Mm. And I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, how did that happen? Yeah. Yeah. It's always so interesting how other family members just drop it on people, like, always. And just like, hey, you know this? And it's like, no, girl, I didn't know this. No, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah. So what exactly did your uncle say to you during that time? Um, he basically, he said, yeah, he said, you know, you're, you have a sister named her Shay. You guys are the same age. And mm. he's like, I see her all the time. And um, I, I was like, I want to get in contact with her. Were you shocked that your father could have another child out there? Um, yes and no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew my dad, you know, was my dad back uh -huh. in the days. And so um, I was always surprised that it was only just me and my brother. You know, I grew up thinking me and my brother were his only children. And I didn't know how that happened. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Papa was a rolling stone. Yes. Okay, got yes, it. Uh -huh. Yes. So. so what did he say, what did your father say to you when you confronted him about this and said there could be, I could have a sister? Basically, he said there's a possibility, you oh. know, he said there is a possibility. And did he ask for a DNA test? No. He did not. Um, me and Roche are only two months apart and I believe Roche's birth or that infidelity is what led to their divorce when I was three years old. Got it. I just want to let everyone know at home that we actually did reach out to your dad to take the DNA test, but he refused and did not want to come on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Was May it a good relationship with your mom? It was. It That's was. Good. Me and my mom had a good relationship. We had some challenges, you know, as a teenager because, um, you know, not having your dad consistently in your life, you make mistakes, you know, mm -hmm. and I struggled a lot in high school with depression and anxiety. Mm -hmm. Um, started drinking really young. Got it. Um, and so, you know, even though I was a good student, I gave my mom some challenges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you ever question if your father was your biological father? I didn't. You didn't? No, mm -hmm. my entire life it was, you know, this is your dad. And, you know, I would see him, you know, once a year, twice a year. Um, my mother kept a very close relationship with his family. So even though I didn't have my dad, I had my aunts, I had my uncles, I had my cousins, yeah. you know, those things that he didn't show up. He wasn't at high school graduation, but my aunts and my uncles were there. Yeah, they had the other support. They were yeah. Great. yeah. My producer told me earlier that there, I guess maybe some point in your life, did you have doubts that he could be your father? There, w there was rumors, I guess, but it wasn't me having doubts. I think it was... You the know, rumors coming The around. rumors, So yeah, people they're... kept saying, like, maybe he could not be your father as well. Right. Interesting. Yeah. So how did you first connect with your potential sister? Um, I asked my uncle for her phone number, and I reached out to her, mm -hmm. and I told her I wanted, to, I wanted to meet her, you know? And I was super excited because um, I've always wanted a sister. And so I reached out to her, and we connected, and there was almost an immediate bond. Um, and what happened when you invited her to meet the family? Oh my goodness. So um, I was moving from California to Alaska and they had a going away party for me. Mm -hmm. um, and I brought her in and was like, dad, this is your daughter, you know? Wow. <laughs> he embraced her mm -hmm. like, yeah, this is my baby. He hugged her. He made her feel welcome. Wow. I introduced her to the rest of the family, and everybody embraced her and welcomed her like she was part of the family. Yes. You know, I didn't feel any refusal at that point. Yeah. Did anyone in your family doubt that she could be your sister? Um, 
everyone that I've talked to have said there's a possibility. Yeah. Her mother was a really good friend. But that were a possibility is that that's still shredded it's still, it out. Exactly. It yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And so, how was learning about Rache changed your relationship with your dad? Um, it's put a little strain uh -huh. on our relationship because um, I've been pushing for him to do the DNA. I've been pushing. And I'm like, Dad, we just need to get the answers. I just, I want to help her get those answers, you know. Yeah. And, um, you know, we rekindled a really good relationship when, I, when my mother passed away when I was 25. Mm -hmm. um, my dad and I developed a bond, you know, and we've been close all that time. Um, and now there's some distance. Mm -hmm. There's some distance because I think I've been pushing the issue on this. Yeah. But I know he has to come around in his own time. But it's hard. You know, my feelings are hurt. Yeah, of course. You know. Yeah, it makes sense. It's sad. I miss him. Yeah. I miss our talks. Yeah. And, um, it's interesting that your relationship with your father has gotten worse as you tried to bring someone in to get closer. Yeah. You know? It, it makes me wonder where, what his motives are and what's mm -hmm. going on in his mind. Yeah. Um, so how has this entire thing affected you and Rache's relationship? Actually, it's brought us closer together. Mm -hmm. Even our children. We had children at the same time. Mm. You know, my first two kids are two boys. They're 26 and 21. Her first two kids are two girls, and they're 26 and 21. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> interesting. Yeah. So there's just a different connection. So it sounds like you have no doubts that she could be your sister. I wouldn't say I don't have any doubts. Okay. Um, in my mind, I feel... 80% she's my sister, yeah. you know, and there's that 20% that says, I just don't know. Yeah. I just don't know. Wow. Okay. Well, listen, everyone. Kamara's cousin, Charlinda, says, there's no doubt these women are sister. Um, I want to hear from her now. Everyone, please welcome Charlinda to the show. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Can I have a hug? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for being here today. Of course. Please take a seat. I could. Okay, so how did you find out about Rache? My son, he plays football. Uh -huh. Shea is the athletic um, director. And when we had got there, her and my son just bonded like all the way. So it made it to where we just kept talking and talking and talking like every single day. And then one day, um, she, I, I asked her where she was from and she said something, you know. Uh -huh. She had already been telling me her sister moved to Alaska. She was trying to find her sister, but I never put two and two together. Yes. So why are you so confident? after that one moment that they could be sisters? She looked like a whole bunch of my aunties. Uh-huh. Yeah. She even looked like um, Kamara's dad. OK, yeah. <laughs> she looked like your father as well. She does. Exactly. A DNA test will be unlocked. I have health issues, and I'm like, yeah. I need to find out who my father is. How does that make you feel that he hasn't tried to reach out to you? I was like, as long as I had her, I wasn't really tripping. Are these two women sisters or not? Stay tuned. You are the fuck. Get off my stage. I always wanted more siblings and one day I was visiting my uncle and he, he's like, you know you have a sister, right? Mm. In my mind, I feel 80% she's my sister, yeah. you know? And there's that 20% that says, I just don't know. All right, everyone, I'm here to solve a 45-year-old <laughs> DNA mystery. Does Kamara have a long lost sister? Her cousin, Charlinda, says she does. Everyone welcome her potential sister, Rache, to the show. Thank you for being here. May I have a hug? How are you doing today? I'm good. Good, good, good. So when did you first learn about Kamara? At her going away party. Yeah. And what was that like for you? It was an experience for me, but yeah. <laughs> I was happy. Yeah. I'm sure it was a wild experience. Yeah, because yeah. you're getting thrown into all these people right now that are like, this is my family. Right. Wow, you two look a lot alike. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I just was looking at it. No, you two. Yeah, y'all look a lot. Yeah. Um, it's just because y'all were sitting right next to each other when I turned right there. Yeah. Um, so why do some people think that it's possible that y'all don't have the same father? For one, my grandma raised me, and then the father that I had, 
that raised me all the way until I was 30 mm -hmm. years old. Yeah. He had his own daughter and then he started rejecting me. Yeah. So then I asked my mom, like, hey, like, what's going on? And she was like, well, Kamara's father is your father. Mm. Um, Tell me, what yeah. was it like meeting him for the first time? I talked to him at the party and he was fine. And then after that, talked to him a couple of days later, told him he had grandchildren. And he was like, okay, we're going to keep in touch. And then I called him, nothing. So that was the last time you heard from him? Yeah. Wow. How does that make you feel that he hasn't tried to reach out to you? I was angry, but the type of person I am, I was like, hey, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. I was like, as long as I had her, I wasn't really tripping. Yeah. So you reached out to your, your potential father on Father's Day. Yeah. And what happened? I texted him like, hey, happy <laughs> Father's Day. Never text back. The only thing I wanted was a closure. I'm not asking him for nothing, and that's all. And then the love. That's it. So how has your relationship changed since you two met? Our relationship hasn't changed at all. Mm -hmm. It's gotten stronger? It's stronger. stronger. Good job. Yes, I we love have that. fun. Yeah. Yes. So what allows you to be so sure that this is your sister? Well, I'm going to say this. If she's not my sister, she's still going to be my sister. Because mm. the love is there. The love is there. The bond is there. Yes. Yeah. Well, before we reveal the outcome of the DNA, um, Kamara, are you ready to know this truth? I am. I just love her. I love her children, and um, I just want closure. And Rache, are you ready to know this truth? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, listen, um, in this yeah. envelope is the, the DNA mystery is solved. Which one of you would like to open it? Oh. You'll open it? Yeah. Here you go. We've been waiting for these. Don't go anywhere because the outcome of the DNA test everyone has been waiting for will come out next. Wow, you two look a lot alike. <laughs> right? <laughs> the father that raised me started rejecting me. So then I asked my mom, and she was like, well, Kamara's father is your father. In this envelope is the, the DNA mystery is solved. Here you go. We've been waiting for these. Oh, no. What? what does it say? You're not your sister. Don't cry. <laughs> it says that you all are not sisters? Yes. We're still sisters. Yeah. We are. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> no, you don't want to be okay. Um, I'm very sorry for that. Um, how is that making you all feel in this moment? I know. It, it made it me feel hard. sad. Yeah. Because yeah. I really That's believed it. Yeah. My heart is hurt. Yeah. My heart is just. It's okay. It's not my I fault. Know, it's not your fault. That. It's, you know, it's all That's good. That's exactly it. This is neither of your faults. It's None not. None of this, yeah. I've said this before many times. These are adults who made decisions and couldn't give you all the closure, the answers that you all deserve and needed. We have yeah. the closure, so that's all that matters. Yeah. 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 Um, I will tell you this, though, because this has been cases in this instance, that I would encourage, if it's possible, for us to test your father. There is options there that I would still tell you to find, get a DNA test directly with him. I would just encourage that. I'm that okay. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, because yeah. you've had years in pro to process this and to grieve this. Right. So for you, this is, you've already sort of taken the time to grieve this. This right. has been something that, for you all, you're grieving now. Yeah. yeah. How are you feeling about this, Kamara? Because, you know. Um, she's still my sister. Yeah, of course. She's still my sister. You just don't have a bond with someone like this um, overnight. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. She has. You know, God brought us together because I, I, I think I needed her light in my life. And yeah. so I'm not letting her get away from me. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think that's such a beautiful thing. Okay. Um, I, I'm sorry that you couldn't get the answers you needed now. I would encourage you not to stop this journey right here. If you need our support, we're here for you. Mm -hmm. Good luck to all three of you, all right? I'm so Thank glad to have met so you all. Much. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for being with us. Come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and growing. I love you all.